How's it going YouTube? It's your boy Ron and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In our last episode, after we have collected all eight badges, we made our way over to Evergrande City, went through the victory road, and of course we made our way over to the Pokemon League Championship, and now it is time to of course take on the Elite Four and await the Elusive Champion. So everything, I'm going to go ahead and show you our team, what we've assembled. So of course, like I stated in the last episode, I was going to be doing a lot of training, and as you can see, there are some significant level differences compared from then up until now. Everyone's at least minimum level 50. So I'll go ahead and show you stats and everything else. So in terms of items and movesets, not too much has changed, although the stats of course have been a bit more beefy. So of course, Fruit of Bloom is dedicated physical attacker, will be dedicated for our fighting moves, and in case we need it for grass type. And those are just the moves that have changed. Over to Kudama. Lacks incense. Of course, I think this is for um, accuracy, I believe. I don't remember what that Lax incense does, but it has something to do with that. Um, all around great, good HP, pretty much dedicated for physical attacks. I don't have any physical attacks on it. It's just Fire Blast and Flamethrower. Um, so we'll leave it at that. It's still all around a good poke. Going on to C Money, my boy C Money. I decided to give him um, the Soft Sand. So of course he is all physically bulky. Um, of course speed stat is left to be desired along with the special stat, but that's okay. That's not what he's meant for. He's meant to of course take any physical damage. He's a physical wall. And of course the attack stat helps. Um, I did let him learn Earthquake now, so of course he has access to a lot of good hard hitting physical moves. Very useful. Over to Oink. We have, I've given it the Quick Claw. It's still not the slowest. In fact, C-Money is actually the slowest by just a tiny margin. Um, but I decided to give it to Oink because of course its special attack is something I do admire the most from it. It is a special wall, so that's actually great for it. And in terms of movesets, nothing different. It's still gonna be the same. Heading over to Road, he has now the, um, I did give Road the King's Rock, although he's always had it, of course, for flinching since he is of course one of the fastest in our team, if not the fastest out in the game right now. And of course, every other set is pretty mediocre, I will be honest. Special attack could be a bit better, although I don't mind it being at 96, along with a good defense stat, it is still not that great, especially defensive. And in terms of moves, everything is still the same. And of course, the last, but certainly not least, my boy Kip, ever since episode one where we started. I gave it the C incense. Of course, this does power up water type moves, so that's why I did give him that instead of the soft sand, just to increase that special attack stat just a bit more. And of course, a physical attacker. That's of course, that's what he is. Slow, but I'd rather him have that extra boost in water type moves. And of course, in terms of the move sets, everything is still going to be the same. Um, he now has Earthquake instead of Mudshot. I had to level him up to 52 for that to be the case. No more Mudshot, minus some minor inaccuracy. Earthquake is deadly strong, and of course, Surf with Waterfall and Ice Beam for coverage. So this is how everyone's looking. This is as great as I can do. It's time to begin. Our journey has led us to many numerous gym battles. A lot of a lot of minor headaches, a lot of enjoyment, some many thrills. Team Aqua and Magma, of course, villains, and of course a lot of just unexpected moments in the world of Pokemon. It has now led us to this moment right over here. After all the numerous battles we have been done, it gives us the ability to tackle on the Elite Four. Now, of course, what they are known for are being four of the toughest trainers in the region. They all specialize in one of their own typing, and of course, they are of course known for being the strongest. But of course, in order to attack, or to really a go for the champion, the most powerful trainer in all of the region, we have to of course prove our worth and try to defeat all four of them continuously. If we mess up once, we're gonna have to start over. So this one will be a long one. But we're all ready, we got items too. Not a lot of them, I will be honest, but it's gonna have to do for what we have, for just what we have. That's why I'm hoping these levels will be good, because this is all I have to go for. So guys, let us begin. This is where it starts now. There's no turning back. Let's commence the Elite Four Challenge. Alright, and the first opponent that we have to face is... Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like, that you're... I like the look that you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, you and me. Let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Number mem member number one, Sydney, a dark type user. Leads off with Mighty Edda. Not a great poke, but of course, its signature ability being Intimidate is what's going to stop us a little bit. 
I can only hope that Sky Uppercut will do its good damage. I believe his strategy for Mighty Yen is to, of course, use Sand Attack, but luckily we do on Speed It. I can only hope I can get a crit, or if not, a high roll. Alright, good. Ignore the... Alright. So, Absol is next. Absol is still weak to dark, um, fighting type moves. My only worry is that with the Intimidate up, it does no aerial ace, meaning it will one-hit shot my Fruit of the Loom, especially since Absol is a very high physical attacker. I don't want to risk using a, a revive right off of that. I'm gonna go ahead for Earthquake. Alright, so close. And it does set it with Swords Dance, but also Absol does have Citrus Berry, so this shouldn't trigger using a full restore from Cindy. It should heal enough to not use it. This should be enough, and Waterfall should do the trick. It did a considerable amount, but this should knock it out. Oh, <laughs> a crit. Alright, well that just guaranteed it. That's fine. Cacturn. Alright, uh, I do have Kurama. I want to go ahead and use her. I do have Agron that does have Aerial Ace, so that could have been an option too, but I'd rather save, um, I'd rather save Agron. Uh, I'll go for Fire Blast. Because I know that will knock it out. There's no way it's going to get that. No way. Come on. Alright, good. So far, I'm getting pretty lucky with Sydney. Crawdon's next. Um, similar situation, Fruit of the Loom can't handle it, but... Um, actually, I'd rather save Road, because I know the, the third Elite Four member does have some good water types, so I'd rather save some of that energy for, for that. So far, I'm doing pretty good with my accuracy. That's actually really good to see. Perfect. Yeah. Because if you guys remember from last episode, I had like my max level was like 46 up to like 42 or 43 or something, and that would not have been okay. Alright. Wait, let's see. Alright. Shift tree. Uh, Actually, because of it's a grass type. Oh wait, but it doesn't know a psychic type move. Yeah, that was my fault. It doesn't know extra sensory. It doesn't even know a grass type move. Hopefully, this can do it. I can hope. I don't think Shifty does have that great defense stats. So I think this can do it. Ah, right, it does. All right. So that should be all five of its Pokémon's done. And Elite Four member number one Sydney has been defeated. Well, how do you like that? I lost. <laughs> it was fun. So it doesn't matter. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Alright, so Sydney's signature Pokemon Absol it technically would be the most difficult choice, I mean, difficult adversary to go against because of its speed and attack stat. But luckily with a high, high enough level, you should be okay. And next is going to be Phoebe. So, uh, what do I want to start with? Um, I'll start with Road. Because of light screen, but I may need point for reflect if actually no. I will go ahead. No no no, I'll save it like this for now. Okay. Everyone's good? Let's go ahead with battle number two. <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pry. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight, so come on, just try and see if you can inflict, even inflict damage on my Pokemon. And if it wasn't said enough already, ghost type user Phoebe, elite more 4 member number 2, I'd like to die. And Dusclops, and she is notable for having Sableye, 3 Dusclops, and a Bayonet. So this is where you have to be very careful. And of course, I believe she likes to do Protect first, so I'm going to go ahead and do a setup with Light Screen. Because Dustclaw's ability is pretty deadly if you have multiple of them. Um, her, the ability that they have is um, Pressure, which means you get to you be using two of your normal PP instead of one, which can be very deadly in certain situations. Yeah, 
Shadow Punch is still a ghost type, I mean a physical type move, so that's fine. I gotta go for the thunder. Yeah, accuracy. Oh, but paralyzed. Alright, bet. Yeah, protect. Even if it's protected, you still lose PP, so you still gotta be careful. And if it fails, that's that's just better on your end. Oh, the crit! Okay, I don't know if that helped, but I'm still gonna take it. I needed that. Alright, so the next one would be another Dust Pops, of course. Why would it not be? I'm gonna go ahead for Oink. I'm gonna set up the Reflect. I do anticipate Oink getting knocked out just because it can't handle physical um, physical hits like Ghost Typing moves would be. Dust Pops isn't a physical hitter, but it can still do some good damage. So I'm gonna go ahead with the Reflect. At least this will cut down some of the damage. Not a lot, but it'll cut down some of it. Alright. Gonna confuse it. And I'm just gonna go for Psychic. I technically should go for Shadow Ball since it's super effective, but Psychic actually would do more. Alright. And anything I get hit off is just bonus. And a special drop would be nice. Actually, that did about the same, and it got knocked out of his confusion. Alright, so should it, I should expect one more Shadow Ball. I mean, it needs to be used two more. Oh, okay, just barely lit. Okay. Alright, oh, yeah, so this was her signature dust pops. So. What I'm gonna have to do is sacrifice. Unless I get a crit, but I'm gonna have to sacrifice one. Yeah. I'm sorry, Link. I have a physical. Oh, special stat dropped. Alright, that's cool. Alright. One poke down, that's not a big deal for me. You just gotta be careful because pressure with three dust pops, that re really makes it annoying. I'll just go ahead and go for... Wait, which is... I think Surf is more powerful. Let me make sure. Surf is 95, Waterfall is 80. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and do Surf. It did get a special drop. Actually, no, I'll go ahead for Waterfall because of the special drop. If it wasn't for that, I would just go for Surf. Alright, Bayonet's next. Uh, I'll go ahead... I'll keep Kip. Alright, Earthquake. That should do a lot of damage. It might not knock it out, but it should do at least a fair amount of damage. Oh, just barely. It's gonna heal up though, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a Surf. If I can do about half, that would help a lot. Alright, get more than half, that's fine. That's what I wanted. Alright, perfect. That's what I like to see. Sableye. I hate Sableye, but... I'm gonna send out Kurama. Since Sableye is actually one of the few Pokemon that came out in the game at this time that is not super effective in anything, um, it does become eventually super effective to moves, just not in this gen. Y you just have to use raw power. So what I'm going to do is Confuse Ray and Will-O-Wisp. I just got to get some chip damage in, because I'm not going to be hitting it hard, honestly. At least I don't think I would. I don't know. But anything helps. Anything helps. Like that. That helps a lot. Will o -wisp. Snapped out of its confusion on turn one. Oh, nice shade, wow. Alright, so it's gonna have to do it four times. That's cool. Oh, 
Oh, that's fine. That's so perfect. I would hate that double team, but that bird should knock it out. Perfect. Did not even expect that. That's perfect. And last, it's just one dust box left. Oh, it's bait. Also, it's two dust pops and two bayonets. Excuse me. I did not remember that correctly. Um, if that's the case, I'll go ahead and let. I'm gonna let Seamlane take this. I'll let I have to use Iron Tail. It's my strongest move. Could knock it out. Ah, just barely. I have Thunderbolt. Ah, that's not a big deal. At least I hope not. Okay, it was only a big deal because of the crit. It's probably gonna heal. Yeah, alright, that's fine. I'll use this chip damage opportunity and then use one more Iron Tail as long as I can land. So if that Thunderbolt crit, it would have to crit again to knock me out. That shouldn't knock me out. Oh, but nonetheless, I'm still faster than it. Perfect. Perfect. I'm faster than a Bane, that's fine. And with that, Elite Four number two member, Phoebe, defeated. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. Alright, so that's two members down, and then just two more left to, um, to attempt it. Alright, and with ice in the field, we can tell what typing this could be. But let me heal up since this one was a considerable battle that I took some damage in and lost the poke. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Hyper Potion on Sea Money. I may need it, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring back Oink. So the next, our next opponent, she is an ice type user and will be with Celio that will use hail. So I gotta go ahead and start off with road because I know she's gonna set up. I will have to set up as well. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this is gonna be one of our interesting episodes since this is gonna be technically the penultimate episode. I haven't said it already, but of course I am breaking this into two parters, one and two in the same episodes, and this one is going to be considerably long, for purposefully. Alright, third member, let's begin. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I traveled afar, from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills, but all I've seen are challenges by the weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go against you, if I could go all out against you. And Elite Four, Glacia would like to battle. And like I said, Celio is who she starts off with. Alright, since Hail is definitely going to be starting off. I can't use Thunder because Hail cuts the accuracy to 50%. So luckily I've been using that and I still have a lot of Thunderbolt and PP. So I'm going to go ahead with a Light Screen. Honestly, I think it would have made more sense to attack and then, yeah, but it's okay. We worry about that later. Ah, just barely. Alright, good. As long as I didn't see the paralysis. Because Celio, I think, at least knows one special attack move. So that's probably why I went for Body Slam instead, to probably go for the paralysis. But luckily, with the full restore, I should have this advantage. It's just going to be a lot of chip damage. Two hail hits. If I can get a Paralysis or a crit, that would help a lot. That would just make this a lot easier. This is like... Oh, that was a, The first one was a high roll, too. And go for it again. So at least that takes care of Seal. So luckily, Hail isn't permanent. It will go away in a couple more turns. Um, that's just the one thing I gotta worry about. So the next poke is gonna be Glalie. Either flying or flying. Fighting or fire type would help. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead with Kurama. Um, I could go with Sea Money, uh, but. Actually, just because of the light screen still up, I'll go ahead. 
Once it goes away, then if I, if C money gets knocked out, then I will be um, bring Kurama out. All right, so Steel type super effective against Iron Tail. I'd rather do that than Rock Tomb, honestly. That, oh, the crit. That was beautiful. That's what's up. Let's go. Come on. Next is Wall Rain. All right, her signature. So in this case, we definitely are going to be needing Road. Basically, it's the final form of Celio, and it's a, it's pretty much a beefy special wall. It does have some good HP stats, too. It's not really a great attacker, but it, it's not a slouch either. It will hurt. Gonna go ahead for Thunderbolt. I still have Light Screen up. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit less than half, a little bit more than half. All right, I'm gonna need a heal up. Gotta do the light screen. All right, good. So that I should, I should live that. I should live that. Right, I'm gonna use one more. Oh, body slam. Right. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, but the static. Oh, we're tied. We tied. All right, but I'm gonna have to. No, not not, not revive. Full heal. Get paralyzed. Get paralyzed. Oh, I was so scared. Okay, um, gonna go for the thunder. No, no, no. Oh, it landed a sheer cold. This game is so broken. All right, uh. is paralyzed. Alright, because it's paralyzed, I'm gonna bring out Food of Loom. And hope. Hope. Alright, good, good, good. That should, that should do it. That should do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. Celia. Alright. Um, Road's still gone, so that's her last poke. Wait, sh no, she still has, yeah, she still has her other Glalie. Alright. Lights screen more off. Alright, gonna have to go for another Sky Overcut. When a Blizzard can land, but not Sky Overcut. Game is fucking amazing. Alright. Now with that happening, I need Oink. I don't have to... I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead with the link. I'm gonna let just raw special attack do it. Do enough damage, do enough damage, do enough. No! Do more next time! Oh, come on. That's so messed up. Alright, it's gonna. I think it's gonna heal. Yeah, it's gonna heal. I mean, if, if Shadow Ball can do a special drop, that'd be great. I mean, I would, I would appreciate that. No. Alright, if that's the case, I'm gonna have to go ahead with. Confused, right? 
Alright, good, 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 good. I'm gonna probably have to do two more psychics. Oh, a special drop. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out Kip. That one, that, that just, I like that, I like that. Yeah, with the special drop, with CS and special ability. Alright, good. Alright, one last poke for the second Glade Week. So, of course, in honor for C-Money. Gonna have to. I know it's gonna outspeed me. Wait, no. I'm just gonna go ahead for it. Oh, I should have done it. It did hail. Man, okay, I played that wrong, but that's okay. Just land. Get a crit. Get a crit. Alright, I didn't need it. Brute power forced it over. You. And your Pokemon, how hot your spirits burn. The all-consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my ice skills fail to harm you. Advance to the next room, and there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Oh, that's true. With three down, one more to go. This one is going to be difficult. The fourth one is always going to be one of the most challenging. And we see a great captain with spikes. What does that mean? Well, to spoil it already, you got a dragon user, folks. This is no pushover. I gotta bring back everyone. I need everyone here. Uh, hyper potion. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to use it on everyone. And for C money, I think I'll just use the hyper potion. I mean the super potion. Alright, so that's alright. <sighs> this is what I've been kinda not liking, but this is what we're gonna have to deal with. Drake is the fourth and final Elite Four member, and of course with everything he is a dragon type user. So of course we're going to be seeing some very hefty bulky dragon types. Kit is actually going to be one of our best because he is the only one that has an ice type move. So in all honor and in all seriousness, it makes sense to go ahead and leave with him. So far everyone's been handling the test really well. But of course the level creep is going to be a bit more significant here. That's when we're going to be noticing a bit more and especially when we hit the champion. But this is our final opponent. This is going to be a serious battle. But we do have everyone fully healed up and loaded ready to go. PP could be left to be desired, but I think I should still be okay. But let's tackle on the final Elite Four members. I'm the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four. Drake, the Dragon Master. In the natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you'll never prevail over me. And final Elite Four member, Drake, would like to battle. And of course, for a little bit of information, the only Elite Four member that ever appears in the anime. He appears in, I think, um, Advanced, Advanced Battle, I believe. One of the last one, the last section of like the Pokemon um, Ruby, Sapphire, Emeralds um, anime. Because the other three basically are never mentioned. Like, they're never brought up, but Drake is the only one that appears. Pretty funny, don't know why that's the case, it just is. Alright, good, one hits. Good, 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 good. Altaria is next, of course. We've, we've battled with an Altaria, Altaria before. It will outspeed us, but with a times 4 weakness to ice, what better than for Kip to, of course, unleash the dragon? 
Ice Beam. I was about to say Dragon Beam. That's not even a move. <laughs> Idiot. Alright, speed and power rose, but nonetheless, times four. Ice type. It should not live this. It should not. Uh, Alright, but it's gonna heal up. It's gonna heal up. It's gonna heal up. I know it's gonna heal up. Alright, there we go. I just wanted to save the Ice Beam. I didn't want to use all my Ice Beams because I may need it for the final challenge. Alright, that's fine, because this it will outspeed me though, so it might go for a dragon move. Oh, double edge. Alright, that's not bad. Didn't bad. Oh, that's not bad. Bring on the level 54. And Kingdra, and we've already dealt with the Kingdra before. Hated that to the extreme. Alright, but of course, only. I don't have a Dragon type move, but the only poke I can really let this handle it is Road. Alright, if that's the case, um. At least this one shouldn't have double team like Quan did. It'll probably have Dragon Dance though. But that's one way to get past the double team. Alright, time for the light screen. It does have a normal type move, so that's of course to be expected. I should live this one. Okay, well, we have a special wall up, so that's fine. Sort of, not, not really fine. Um, I don't want to use Kip. I have to save him. I'm going to go ahead. I'll just bring it off Wink. Reflect. Yeah, it's going to set up. Because I do know it has Surf and what, Body Slam, I think, so at least I have both walls up for the meantime. Okay, Confuse Ray. Well, at least Quick Claw's kicking in, you know, I was able to, I was able to do that. It shouldn't be terrible much, right? Alright, good. Psychic. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is one all over again. It's probably gonna heal too. Alright, no. Alright, good, 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 good. Come on, that has to knock it out. Has to. Alright. Fly gone. Alright, dragon and ground. Times four to ice. Ice beam is the move. Literally, if you have a nice tight move, Drake isn't gonna be terrible, but you do wanna have some high level folks though. That's still that's still like not need to be said. That's that you just have to. I speak. I should be I should be able to take an earthquake. Even with a three, I should be able to take that. And last is the main signature Salamence, the first appearance we see it, and of course being one of the almighty dragon types in Gen 3, no surprise that it's Drake Star. Level 55, and with Intimidate, can't pack a punch, but of course, Ice type and Ice Beam still being special, this is gonna hurt. Oh, but that would hurt too, that would hurt. <laughs> One HP after a crit. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! I think it might heal, but I have to heal up. I have to heal up. It's Yeah, it's going to heal up. 
But regardless, I, I can't I can't leave it like that because it outspeeds me. So I wouldn't be surprised if it went for the attack first. No, I went for the heal. Okay, I didn't. I wasn't. Ex I didn't know. I, I really thought it would try to outspeed since it does outspeed me. All right. Oh wait, no, 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 no. All right. I speed. All right. So we know how much a crit will do. This shouldn't do too much then. Salmas does have some good special defense, though, if he can survive that. Really? I low roll? I low roll. Are you kidding me? Nonetheless, Elite Four Drake, done. Last member. Superb. It should be said. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes. What a trainer needs is virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from them. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, go onwards. The champion is waiting. And he is right. After defeating all four, the champion is all that's left. But of course, after all those miraculous battles, we lead the final battle for the final episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Did hope you enjoyed. Started off at the Elite Four, number one, Easy ish. Member two. Okay, so Sydney, pretty easy. Phoebe, relatively easy. That PP stall did kind of hurt a little bit. Glacia, pretty hard, I'll be honest. That gave me a slight scare with her wall rate. Still accomplished. And Drake, without Ice Beam, this would have been super difficult. But of course, if you have that, that's the ultimate key to victory. But of course, the champion is what awaits us and who knows what kind of battle we'll be doing there. The level creep is going to be a little bit higher, so our Pokemon aren't going to be as high level, but after everything they've done, they show they can do it, and I know they can. It will be up for the next battle. So, of course, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. This has been your boy, Rod, and in our next and final episode, we will take on the Champion of Hoenn in a final ultimate battle for the right of being Champion of Hoenn, and we'll just see what happens then. I will see you guys then. Take care.